it never ceases to amaze me of the resentment that we are doing business. Never. Other sports are able to do that in some capacity. Other forms of entertainment are able to do that in full capacity. But for some reason in this space, when there is business to be done, it is so resisted as though MMA has an entitlement to television, to sold-out crowds, to paying. I always hear the fans. The same fans that are saying, pay the fighters more money are the same fans that are saying Brock Lesnar shouldn't be in there. Give it to Curtis Blades. Curtis Blades is a great guy. I only bring him uh, to example because he's a, he's a young prospect that, that's been winning a lot of fights, and he's up there in the rankings. So I bring him into this. It's the same fans. They think that, that Santa Claus is running this thing. They think that there's an entitlement, and you can't ever deal with those guys. If they don't understand this, you can't bring them around anymore. You just can't force them to. Guys, if you're ever looking at a blueprint and you see the term submerged cable, okay, the reason it is in that order is the submersion is more important on the blueprint than the cable itself, regardless of what you may logically think. That's why it's submerged cable as opposed to cable submerged. This is a spectator sport in that order. Because the spectator who is volunteering to care is more important than the sport. It's a chicken and egg situation. Which one came first? The integrity of the sport must be preserved. But that is only once they shut the cage door and the unified rules are followed. Prior to that, the buildup and the entertainment and the storyline is what drives this forward. It's why the fight is 15 minutes, but the buildup is 90 days. You must be able to see the difference in this. And once you do, you must appreciate it. That is what makes you a fan. To see the difference, identify it, and then resist it makes you a prick.